Christmas in Germany means markets with mulled wine and many different things to eat. Perhaps a Bratwurst is the order of the day, or maybe something sweeter. In any event, for these people, the emphasis is on enjoying the rich flavor of German food. German food is great. You can't eat it every day, but it's Christmas, so why not? There's a lot of variety in German cuisine. You can eat healthily or unhealthily, but you have a lot to choose from. You have uh, much more standards for your food than, than we do in America, so I'd say. And you're more focused on healthy, healthier things, healthier. And yet clearly the government is worried about what people are eating. The agriculture minister so much so, she wants radical cuts in what's on offer. The government plan is to have the food industry lead the way. Ministers want companies to introduce 20% reductions in fat usage in foods. A similar reduction must be brought in for salt content, likewise for sugar, which many people blame for rising levels of obesity. All of these changes must be implemented no later than 2025. The government says it has the backing of many large firms in the German food industry to cut salt, sugar and fat content. But what about the smaller firms, like those at this Christmas market? At this butcher's stall, a wide variety of sausages and other meats from all over Germany and beyond is on offer, made with the same recipes for generations. Our ingredients are really specific, and there are very few ways we can really change them. Obviously, our methods have evolved over hundreds of years, and clearly we adapt with advances in new technology, but there's only but so many ways you can make a salami, for example. There isn't really much wriggle room when you're looking at how we make our products. Clearly, seasonal markets like these are not where most people buy their food. The major supermarket chains will be at the forefront of the changes. But with a deadline far into the next decade, the flavor of German food isn't going to change anytime soon. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Berlin.